There you go, guys. It is a frozen Tesla. There is absolutely no regen. It's not that cold, but it's been sitting at that temperature for a day and a half. Good morning, people of the grid. It is bright and early on uh, Sunday, November the 26th. I'm taking Tammy's uh, Tesla loaner to the supercharger. I'm going to charge it up for her and the kids so that they don't have to, they can sleep in longer that way. They're going to head back to Calgary. I This is a cold, cold Tesla. It's been sitting for a day and a half at an average temperature of about minus three to minus seven. Um, so it's cold. It, it hasn't been plugged in and those dashed dotted dashed lines on the bottom for regen means i'm not going to get regen the dashed dotted lines on the top of the curve means that if i punch it i'm not going to get a power output on the high end it's just done like that to protect the battery the same thing will happen now when i show up at the supercharger and plug in instead of getting the usual 115 or let's say 100 kilowatts to 115 kilowatt charge i'll probably be down in the sub 50 kilowatt charge until the BMS system warms up the battery to a nominal temperature and then it can start dumping fast juice into the car. So that's what I'm expecting to see. We'll do it again later with my car, which has been sitting just for, you know, it'll be probably 12 hours, 15 hours my car would have been sitting for, but it should see a similar thing. All right, just got to the supercharger. Let's just do a status of where things are at before I plug in and then we'll watch as we plug in. Again, we're not gonna get a super high charge. There's the charger I'm gonna plug into. There's the uh, loaner Tesla. Oh, and look, the Tesla truck arrived early. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I just plugged in, and this is what this is what I'm getting. Eight kilowatts. I should be up around 100. Now this is where a lot of new Tesla owners, when they start using it in the winter, they'll plug in at home or they'll plug in you know at a supercharger and they'll look at this and they'll say oh my gosh there's something wrong with my tesla there's nothing wrong with your tesla in fact it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do it's protecting the battery from you know from getting damaged so what it's doing right now at eight kilowatts it's basically running the heater it's heating up the fluids so that it can heat up the battery as the battery as the battery temperature comes up to nominal, to normal operating levels, what we'll then start to see is that eight kilowatts will ramp up and shoot up to, um, you know, uh, to, a normal, to where it normally would be. Now, keep this in mind. This is really important because what a lot of people will do, especially on road trips or when they have to go somewhere, they'll say, ah, I'll just pop into the supercharger before I leave because it charges fast. It does when the battery is at nominal temperature. If the battery's not at nominal temperature, your charge times could double or even triple as we wait for that battery, not well, double for sure, as we wait for the battery to come up to operating temperature. A lot of people miss that. Um, this, and if for those of you that are buying Teslas that are new, you know, that just get it in the winter, this is the best case scenario. You're gonna get, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like switching over cold turkey. You're gonna get rapidly schooled into how EVs and EV batteries work. Uh, and then when summer comes, you're going to be in heaven because it'll be like, oh my gosh, I don't even have to plug in for a whole week. I got tons of range. So it's good to learn in the winter. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. All right, so I've been sitting here for about, um, oh, it's got to be at least a half an hour. And finally, it's starting to ramp up. It's up at around 83, 84. It's still slowly climbing. Now, you saw the state of my battery there was, um, we're beyond the halfway mark. So now we're getting into that top 40% of the battery where normally, and yeah, we're just at 86 kilowatts right now, 88. As we, as we get closer to about 75%, 80%, charge that the bms will ramp down the charge that it's accepting because again it wants to protect the battery so this is why you want to leave with a warm tesla if you have any trip of any kind fire up the the heat cycle at least twice before you leave in cold weather and have it plugged in so it's using shore power or wall power to do that the other thing i like to do is to time a charge to end 
just before I'm about to leave. That way the charging process heats up the battery. Really, really important. Had Tammy have, uh, and the kids hopped in the car, you know, when they were ready to go back to Calgary, the battery still would have been cold. They would have had reduced charging and they would have had to spend, you know, probably an hour and a half, which they didn't have charging up here. Because, you know, in our minds, when we supercharge best case scenario, it happens in like 20, 30 minutes and we're good to go. Except if the battery's cold. So don't forget that. Tammy forgets that all the time. That's why I make these videos. It's not so much for you guys, people of the grid. It's more for my wife. I just got to get her to listen. If you have any thoughts on that, put them in the comments below. Well, I've been uh, here for just about an hour. I had breakfast. I got some work done. I'm heading back to the hotel now. The car is sitting with a ton of range. She won't have to even uh, charge at all now. So just hop in and go. Oh yeah. To the night, I raise my hand to the fire. So are you ready to go? I am. Heading back I to Calgary. I realized I forgot to put on makeup Yeah, morning. look at your hair. My hair's done. Anyway. Here's our kids. <laughs> They're all going back. Have fun curling. All right, guys, I am wrapped up here. Tammy and the kids left a few hours ago. I'm just going to hop into the light runner here, cold light runner, and uh, we're going to make a run for Calgary. Now, the car is telling me that uh, we should get back to the Calgary supercharger with 21%. I think it's going to be down around 10% just because I haven't run the car. I'm hopping into a cold, uh, a cold Tesla. It's only been sitting for a day and a half. And it's six degrees now, so it's not the minus three it was this morning, but the battery's still cold. Oh, one more thing. So the light runner now, because of the cold battery pack, I don't have any regen. It's just limited me on the bottom half. It looks like I got full access to all the power in the battery on the top half, so that's good. But uh, this is kind of one of those things where you didn't warm up your car, so what's going to happen, right? You're going to get some you're going to get limited range out of a cold battery and the risk i run although at this temperature i'm not too worried about it but we saw this happen when it was a lot colder when it was really really cold we took a cold car with a cold battery and we went to the first supercharger stop which was about an hour and a half away and my thinking was that in that hour and a half running heat inside driving the battery would warm up but interestingly enough, it didn't warm up enough. So when we got to that supercharger, after an hour and a half of driving, it still had to warm up the battery pack. Now it didn't take as long as if we would have gone right away, but uh, it still wasn't at, you know, perfect uh, where it wanted to be. So it took some time to warm up the pack. I don't think that'll happen today when I get to Calgary, which is about an hour and, and a half away. Stop it from shining through, it's true. That, uh, that donut pit stop, that's all for the kids. Just the, well, it's for everybody. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, Just made it to the supercharger at uh, Calgary Cross Iron Mills. And uh, there's a lot of wind resistance. That's the other thing in winter if you're leaving without warming up the battery and without charging. You're probably gonna run into wind. You're probably gonna run into wet roads. You're probably gonna run into slush and snow and all of those things reduce range. So it's, it's kind of like the worst possible combination. It's better to charge. For me though, the weather warmed up i mean i knew it was warmer in calgary so i actually think the battery after that hour and a half drive and with the temperature now at 14 degrees celsius i think i've got a warm battery so we'll see as soon as i plug in right now it's at 118 kilowatt that rate of charge that is definitely a warm battery today 
I knew I was gonna make it. I mean, we always make it. It's just sometimes you have to slow down a little. All right, I think I'll go in and uh, see how crazy it is. It's, uh, I don't know why, but here in Canada, we follow the US of the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you know, the shopping opportunity. So it gets crazy at the mall here too. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. Hope you guys are having a great time with family and friends. Don't bother going to the stores. If you need something, just buy it online. Family's way more important. This stuff, you can get it whenever. It's crazy here. It's not even Thanksgiving here, but it's crazy. Well, just another routine supercharge. I didn't go to 100% because I didn't want to wait and I don't have to. Um, I am headed home. Tammy and the kids wrapped up curling. The kids apparently did awesome. They won their games. So, yeah, it's a good day. So I think tonight, it sounds like Amelia is going to a movie with a friend and Tammy's playing chauffeur. And then we're just gonna hang out at home tonight with everybody else. So there you have it. If you're trying to stretch out some range, start out with a born battery. If you show up at a supercharge and you're getting a slow charge, it could be in the winter because you have a cold battery. Now, there are some other reasons why you might get a slow charge. Sometimes the supercharger stack is just, there might be a problem there. So if you think you've got a warm battery and you're getting a slow rate of charge, pop over to another stall and try that. It does happen every once in a while that you just get a slower feed. Um, the other thing is if there's two Teslas parked side by side and they're both at a low state of charge, one of you will do well and one of you won't. So that's why it's always good to skip a spot, right? Um, there's like the, the 1A, 1B, um, that's one stack. So go to 2A and 1A, that type of thing. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Happy to answer them. And um, I'm gonna wrap it up there, guys. I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna get changed, relax, and enjoy what's left of our weekend. I should get there around five o'clock, so gonna be uh, gonna be another crazy week they always are Micker out <laughs>